Hi guys. So I have another Henry and Mudge book to share with you today. And this one is called Henry and Mudge and the Great Grandpas. This book has four different chapters. Grandpas, a pond, skitties, and full and happy. So let's get started. Grandpas. On a sunny summer day, Henry and Henry's dog Mudge went with Henry's parents to visit Great Grandpa Bill. Great Grandpa Bill was very old. He lived in a house with a lot of other grandpas. Henry liked them. He liked their checker games and their rocking chairs and their walking canes. Mudge liked them too. He liked the little mints they carried in their pockets. When they arrived at Great Grandpa Bill's house, Henry gave everyone a present. He always brought presents for the grandpas. He brought books and magazines. He brought butterscotch candies. He brought crossword puzzles and poker cards. The grandpas loved him. They loved Mudge too. They petted Mudge and when they were tired, they rested on him. Mudge didn't mind. He liked tired grandpas. While Henry's father and mother went in the house to visit with all of the grandpas, Henry and Mudge set off exploring. Great Grandpa Bill's house was near the woods and Henry couldn't wait to have fun outside. Let's go, Mudge, he said. So while everyone played checkers and cards, Henry and Mudge went looking for adventure. A pond. Henry and Mudge walked through the crunchy woods. Mudge sniffed logs. He ate sticks. He disappeared in the bushes. Henry climbed on stumps. He swung on trees. He peeked in little dens. Then Henry saw a clearing. This way, Mudge. Henry and Mudge ran into the clearing. It was beautiful. There were meadows and flowers, birds and butterflies, and a swimming pond. A pond, Mudge, said Henry. Mudge wagged and wagged. They ran to the side of the pond. Henry tested the water, just right for swimming. But Henry knew they couldn't swim yet. No swimming alone was one of his parents' big rules. Let's go get Dad and swim, Mudge, Henry said. Mudge was ready. He was perfect at the dog paddle. Skivvies. When Henry told his parents about the pond, not only did Henry's dad want to swim, but great grandpa did too. And so did the other grandpas. They all wanted to go to the swimming ponds. We'll have to go in our skivvies, said Henry's father. What skivvies, asked Henry. Underwear, said his father. Henry looked at his mother. No girls allowed, Mom, Henry said. Henry's mother smiled. Anyway, she said, I was going to make spaghetti for the grandpas. Then let's go, said Henry. Henry and Henry's father and Henry's big dog, Mudge, and all of the grandpas went to the swimming ponds. It took a while to get there. The grandpas had to stop and rest on Mudge sometimes. When everyone got to the clearing, Great Grandpa Bill said, holy cow, and all of the grandpas pulled off their pants and went swimming in their underwear. Henry and Henry's dad did too. Mudge gave rides to the grandpas who got tired. Instead of a life raft, Mudge is a life raft, said Henry's father. Henry giggled. Everyone swam for an hour, then they lay in the sun. The grandpas told stories about being in the Navy or working for the railroad or driving taxis. 
One grandpa had been a singer and he sang them a little song. The pond was shiny, the sun was warm, and the grass was soft. Henry and Mudge and everyone there felt happy. Full and happy. It took a while to get back to great grandpa Bill's house. The grandpas had to rest on Mudge even more. Mudge didn't mind. When they got to the house, Henry's mother had a big pot of spaghetti ready. Everyone ate and ate and ate. All of the grandpas loved spaghetti, especially those without teeth. After dinner, everyone sat on the porch in rocking chairs. Everyone was full and happy. The grandpas grew quiet. Some slept. And as the sun slowly set, Henry and Mudge rested, glad for a grandpa house. Hope you enjoyed that, boys and girls. See you soon.